Hey everyone, it's me, Anthony. So I just finished watching Grave of the Fireflies, written and directed by Isao Takahata. The only other film I've seen by this director was My Neighbors the Yamadas, which was really interesting in its style. <laughs> There's this really funny scene which involves the father, a gang of angry bikers, and a sudden switch to a different style of animation, which uh, worked pretty well in terms of comedy. Before I get into this film, I'd also like to mention that I essentially got into Studio Ghibli by watching Spirited Away, which actually did exceed my expectations, and it was a really wonderful experience. But yeah, let's actually talk about Grave of the Fireflies. This film takes place in Japan during World War II, and it follows this young boy and his little sister, essentially trying to survive. Now, this is simultaneously a very heartwarming, but also a very melancholic story. It combines really joyful scenes along with really depressing scenes. One scene in particular struck a chord with me. It takes place in a hospital and it features some very striking images. Um, yeah, it's very effective to say the least. Unlike My Neighbor Totoro, uh, this film actually features a young child that isn't obnoxious. The little girl, Setsuko, is actually a very cute little character. Um, her relationship with the brother is very heartwarming, it's very realistic. The animation is executed extremely well. It gives off this very atmospheric vibe, and it kind of makes you feel like you are experiencing the harsh reality of war with these characters. Not only are the visuals very enchanting, the actual soundtrack is amazing. It's very captivating. It, it helps build the feel of the film as well. It kind of reminded me of the Kill Bill soundtrack in a few parts. And yeah, I know this film came before because it was released in 1988, I believe? Studio Ghibli seems to have this tendency to utilize heartwarming melancholy, which surprisingly works very well, uh, especially in this film. I mean, I've only just seen it, it was my first viewing, and I think it might be my favorite Studio Ghibli film. Watching these two characters develop and essentially go on this journey together is very, very compelling. Most of my favorite films evolve around a journey of some kind, during which the characters or the main character develops, learns a lesson, or finds themselves. Grave of the Fireflies also pulls this off very well. I really did feel for the characters and their values. They seemed, and I, I'm stressing this way too much, but they seemed really very realistic. The whole execution of the feel of war was also very scary. Uh, the air raid sequences were some of the most compelling scenes in the film. As soon as I heard that alarm, it kind of made me feel at the edge of my seat, you know? Um, what else can I say? I mean, the whole film was very compelling. Uh, I can't really pick out a scene that felt unnecessary or useless. Every scene served a purpose for either the characters or the story. Everything fits together very nicely and it forms a beautiful, heartwarming, but also depressing and harshly realistic film evolving around war and family. I also have to mention the image quality on the Blu-ray. It's simply amazing, and I don't think the DVD would do it justice. So if you get the chance to watch this film, definitely get it on Blu-ray. In conclusion, Grave of the Fireflies is truly an amazing work of art and a beautiful piece of filmmaking. It propels in a genre of animation, and without a doubt, it fits into the war genre very well. The fact this film came out in 1988, the same time my neighbor Totoro came out, truly shows that Isao Takahata as well as Hayao Miyazaki have outdone themselves. Studio Ghibli is constantly impressing me, and I can't wait to see more films from them. 